in this video we are going to discuss about features of 8086 microprocessor now let us see the features one by one the first feature is 8086 microprocessor is it is an enhanced version of enhanced version of 8085 microprocessor so that means 8086 microprocessor is an extension to the 8085 microprocessor. So 8086 microprocessor supports all the features of 8085 microprocessor and in addition to that it has its own features. Now let us see the next point. It is a 16 bit microprocessor. It is a 16 bit microprocessor 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor that means it performs operations on 16-bit data in one clock cycle now let us see the next feature it uses 16-bit data lines 16-bit data lines and 20 bit address lines and 20 bit address lines so that means the capacity of the resistor is 16 bit 16 bits whereas the capacity of the address bus is 20 bits so the size of the address bus is 20 bits whereas the size of the data bus is 16 bits uh, let us see the next point a086 microprocessor it was designed by it was designed by intel 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 company in 1976 in 1976 now let's see the next point here the capacity of the main memory capacity of the main memory is here what is the size of the address bus 20 so the capacity of the main memory is 2 power 20 why because the size of the address bus is 20 so 2 power 20 is nothing but 1 megabyte so the size of the main memory is 1 megabyte in 8086 microprocessor now let us see the next point it has powerful instruction set it has powerful instruction set So 8086 supports a vast number of instructions when compared with 8085 microprocessor. 8085 microprocessor cannot perform multiplication and division operation whereas 8086 performs uh, multiplication and division operations very very easily. Now let us see the next point. It operates in two modes. It operates in two modes. The first mode is maximum mode, so which is called as max mode. The second mode is min mode. Min mode. So max mode means it is suitable for multiprocessor system. It is suitable for multiprocessor system. So multiprocessor system means the system contains multiple microprocessors so that uh, the performance will be very very high the throughput will be very very high than a single processor system whereas min mode means it is suitable for uh, single processor system or uh, uniprocessor system okay single processor system or uh, uh, uniprocessor system uh, now let us see the next feature uh, the next feature is uh, it has 6 byte instruction queue 6 byte instruction queue so 8086 microprocessor uses an instruction queue the size of the instruction queue is 6 bytes so in instruction queue maximum we can store how many bytes 6 bytes now let us see the uh, remaining points so till now we have seen 8 features now let us see some more features so the next feature is the next feature is 
uh, it operates it operates at 5 volts 5 volts 5 volts power and uh, 8086 microprocessor is available in uh, 3 versions it is available in uh, 3 versions 3 versions so the first one is 8086 second one is 80862 third one is 80861 so here we have 3 versions based on the frequency based on the frequency here 8086 microprocessor operates at 5 megahertz frequency 8086-2 operates at 8 megahertz frequency and 80861 version operates at 10 megahertz frequency now let us see the next one it uses 8086 microprocessor uses 16 bit ALU we know about ALU ALU stands for arithmetic logic unit so ALU is useful in order to perform the operations in order to execute the in instructions ALU is the brain of the CPU and it has 16 bit registers it has 16 bit registers so the size of each register is what 16 bits now let us see one more point uh, it supports 8086 microprocessor supports pipelining whereas 8085 doesn't support pipelining so what is the major advantage of the pipelining pipelining improves the performance of the system it improves throughput of the system so in order to improve the performance of the system in 8086 pipelining was introduced pipelining means it mainly uses uh, two pages so fetching and execution phase so while the first instruction is executing parallelly the second instruction will be fetched from the memory so parallelly we are doing two things while the first instruction is executing by the execution unit simultaneously bus interface unit fetches the remaining instructions from the corresponding memory and places them in uh, instruction queue okay and the next one is uh, it has two units it has two units the first unit is bus interface unit bus interface unit BIU the second unit is EU EU stands for execution unit and the next point is it has 14 16 bit resistors so totally in 8086 we have uh, 14 resistors are there whose capacity is what 16 bit okay so 14 16 bit resistors are available and the next point is it has 29,000 transistors 29,000 transistors as well as uh, it, it has 256 vectored interrupts so predefined interrupts so vectored interrupts as well as it has 40 pins so 40 pins are there where each pin has some functionality so these are the various features of uh, 8086 microprocessor so this is about the features of 8086 microprocessor